Hey guys, in this video I'm just going to be giving you an update on the Apple WWDC which took place today, Monday, June 6th, 2011. Apple updated a lot of things and released a lot of new items today and I'm just going to be running through the features and what you can expect later this year from Apple. So first off, the thing that a lot of you guys want to know, um, all about the iOS 5. Apple updated their new iOS today and they called it the iOS 5 and basically a lot of new features were released. First off, what we've all been waiting for, a new notification system. It's going to be similar to Android. You're going to slide down from the top of the device to actually see all of the notifications. Um, it's going to support all of the unified notifications, so you're going to have all your notifications in one place. And it's going to have lock screen support, so you're going to be able to read all of your notifications straight on your lock screen. So it's a lot like Android. It's a lot more helpful, and I really like it a lot. I can't wait for this feature, actually. I'm really excited. Next up, they updated Twitter. Um, they're actually going to have Twitter integration throughout the entire OS. Um, there's going to be one single sign-in in, in settings for your Twitter account. You just have to sign in, and that will allow all the multiple apps that you have with Twitter support on your device to actually have this built-in support throughout the iOS. Um, and they're also going to have inside of photos, when you take a photo, um, they're going to allow you to geotag the photo in your tweets and show them on the map where you took the photo, which is pretty cool. Um, the Twitter integration, I use Twitter a lot, so it's really cool to have it throughout the whole operating system. I'm really excited for this. Um, another big, big, big feature, it's going to be PC free, which means if you're activating a new iPhone or iDevice, you can set it up on the fly. Um, updates are going to come over the air similar to Android and again as I said you're going to be able to activate over the air also it's going to be Wi-Fi sync so you're going to be able to sync all of your data straight over the air you're not going to need USB cables anymore which is awesome um, and yeah it's going to be similar to Android I feel like they took this feature straight from Android so it's great to have this in the iOS also Apple revamped the camera app um, like you're allowed to use, there's a lot of new features, like you're allowed to use your fingers to pinch to zoom, allowed you to change the white balance, and they just revamped the camera app a lot. It's a lot better. Also, they added a lock screen shortcut for the camera, so you can take more pictures straight from the lock screen if you want to, and it is very cool. And also, you can use the volume up button as a shutter, which is very, very cool because I actually have a Android device and I like the shutter button rather than the iPhone, so it's good that they added it. Next, another big, big feature that they updated is iMessages. Basically, this is BBM for the iPhone or iChat for the iPhone. It works on all iDevices, and you can text, send video, send photos, etc. Um, to all your buddies using iDevices, using your data plan. It's completely free, similar to BBM for iPhone. I know BlackBerry users are really hyped up about BBM. That's why they get the device. So this coming to the iPhone will probably help sell a lot more iPhones and iDevices. And I'm really excited to have this. I will not have to use a data plan. Um, also, they added a new reminder system, which allows you to remind yourself of what you have going on through your day. It's similar to push notifications for iCal, and it's very useful. They also updated Safari a little bit. They added tabbed browsing, which is just more helpful and easier to use. And they added a read later section, like if you're reading a web page and you want to read it later, you can tag the web page and it will save it where you had it. Um, Game Center, moving on here, had a couple of updates. You're going to be able to see game discovery, see all the games your friends are playing. There's going to be more interaction, um, better friend scores, updates to you, etc. Not too big of updates, but it is enough to make it noteworthy. And overall, there's many, many new features um, in this device or the new operating system for all the iDevices. If you want to see them all for the iOS 5, go to Apple's website and check it out. It's going to be released this fall. Um, but there is a developer preview that is out right now, and I am planning on actually downloading the developer preview and giving you guys a rundown of the iOS device, of the iOS 5 on my iDevices, probably my iPad and my iPod Touch, for live. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my iOS 5 um, rundown with all of my live features. There's going to be a live review. I'm going to be showing you how to work on the devices. So be sure to subscribe for that. But it's going to be released this fall, and I will be uploading an overview video of iOS 5 soon. Next, Apple released Mac OS X 10.7. Basically, they added a ton of new features to their new version of Mac OS X, which I will be buying when it comes out, by the way. Um, but they added multi-touch gestures, um, full-screen apps, launch pad with uh, iPhone apps from the Mac App Store. They added the Mac App Store itself. 
They added resume, which allows all of your apps to remember where you save them and open up right where you save them when you open them. They upgraded mail, basically everything um, inside of mail, and it makes it easier to use. And basically, it's just a whole new operating system, a lot of new features. Um, to check them all out again, I don't want to make this video run on forever. So to check out every new feature, go to apple.com, um, and it will show you the features there. Um, it's going to cost $29.99 which is very, very cheap. I will be purchasing this. It's going to come straight from the Mac App Store. It's going to be a 4 gigabyte download, and it's going to be a one-time charge. will work on all your Macs. I definitely am downloading this. I definitely will do a review video in July and when it comes out. And again, as I just said, it's being released in July. And thirdly, the next and last big feature that Apple added to the uh, iDevices in their WWDC is iCloud. Basically, this is replacing Mobile Me. Um, it's basically allowing mail, your calendar, pages, keynotes, numbers, etc. Everything is going to be able to sync over the air to all of your iDevices. The App Store will automatically download all of your apps to your devices. It's going to work on Mac and PC. It's going to sync all your all of your uh, data from your devices to your Mac or PC, which is Wi-Fi sync essentially, as I said before. And you're going to allow you're going to be allowed to use this on five devices. And it's also going to work with iPhoto and the Apple TV. So you'll be able to sync photos to all your iDevices along with your Apple TV, which is very cool. iCloud and is actually available today. Um, and there's also going to have, Apple's also going to have iTunes in the cloud and iTunes Match. Basically what this means is you're going to be able to download and sync all of your device, all of your iTunes data in the clouds and sync all of your music to all your devices through the air. Um, and iTunes Match is going to allow you to, if you don't know the name or the artist of a song, it's going to actually match your songs from your CDs or whatever to the iTunes library. So it basically makes your songs a lot easier. Um, to type into your library. I know I had a lot of trouble remembering the artists or whatever of all the songs I have on my iTunes. So that's very helpful. Um, and iCloud and all this is available today. Um, the rest of it is coming in the fall. As I said, iOS 5 is coming in the fall and Mac OS X 10.7 Lion is coming in July. Um, iCloud is going to be 25 bucks a year, so it's a good deal. And overall, that's basically what was released on the WWDC today, Monday, June 6, 2011 by Apple. Um, other things were released, but it's up on Apple's websites. I basically covered all the main ones, though. Unfortunately, there was no iPhone 5. Um, so basically, because iOS 5 is coming out in the fall, I'm going to assume that a fall launch for the iPhone 5 is likely probably around September. So I will keep you guys updated on that. Be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up for that. But what did you guys think of the WWDC? Leave your comments in the description. Um, again, thanks for watching. If you like this video and for more Apple updates, be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up and leave your comments in the description. And for more updates, be sure to follow me on Twitter, visit my website and like me on Facebook in the description. And I will be getting a lot of this stuff and I will be doing review videos, especially of iOS 5 and Mac OS X um, in the future. And I will be doing iCloud overviews too. So be sure to stay tuned for that and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.